So the uh, cast of Motown the Musical are here in the studio. The performances are going on through August 16th at the AT&T Performing Arts Center. And, of course, you could win, win your way in at krnb.com. But tell everybody who I have. I have Martina. Yes. And I have Tamar. Tamar, yes. And I have... Jaron. Jaron. Okay. Now, do you guys play, like, multiple different roles, or are you playing one person only, or how does that work? We play multiple. Okay. Now, who are you playing, I play Martina? Gwen Gordy, Barry Gordy's older sister, Mary Wells, Cindy Birdsong, and one of the Vandellas. Okay. And how about you, Tamar? I play Esther Gordy, his late eldest sister, <laughs> um, uh, Gladys Knight, Gladys Horton, Stevie Wonder's mother, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, okay. And a Vandella. All right. And Jaron? <laughs> and I play Marvin Gaye. I can see that. See, I, I can see that, man. I can see that, man. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, I can see that, man. That's one of those things. So what did you guys know about Motown before? Because you guys are all young. What did you actually know about Motown <clears throat> before you got into these roles? Um, I knew a lot about the music because my parents played it all the time. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know the background stories of people like Mary Wells. I knew the main, like Marvin Gaye, I knew his background story, Michael Jackson and Jackson 5, those people, um, the Temptations because of the VH1 movie. But other than that, I didn't know their background stories until the musical. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about Motown. I just knew it was a record label. Had no idea, you know, who was on the label, what songs came from Motown. Um, I didn't know anything at all. And Jaron? And the funny thing is I actually thought Motown was a a style of music. So Uh I didn't realize that Motown was a label. I just thought it was, you know, rock, R&B, Motown. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, oh, this is something completely different. Now, of course, during the, the, the course of you being part of the production, you guys have learned so much, I'm sure, about everything about Motown, right? We're still yes. learning. Yeah. I mean, we're still learning. Okay. I mean, All right, who's older, Barry Gordy or Smokey Robinson? Barry Gordy. Barry Gordy. By a long way, huh? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, he's 85. Because yeah, yeah, I know Smokey was like 52 for like six years. <laughs> and then, I mean, Smokey's probably in his 70s now. He's like he's, 75. He, he, looks like he's 45. You know, don't you hate yeah. him for that? Just, don't you? Yeah. It's, it's like, amazing. wow, isn't that crazy? Yes. Yeah. You know, amazing. I mean, look at me. I'm 23 years old. Yes. <laughs> yes. What did I say? Something funny? What happened? What, 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 what's going on? Yes. So Motown the Musical, again, is at the AT&T Performing Arts Center through August 16th. Get the hook up at krnb.com. It's billed as the music that put the Motor City on the map. When I when I read that, I get chills because I, I remember everything about Motown. I remember, you know, the Temptations. Actually, a guy I used to work with, his uncle was Charlie Atkins. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, and I actually met Charlie, and Charlie was like, at the time I met him, he was in his late 80s, and he looked 45. <gasps> oh, of course. Oh, my and he gosh. said it was because all the dancing he did kept him young. Yeah. Wow. And he was just an amazing, just an amazing, just a nice man, and he looked younger than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jaren, why are you laughing, man? Because you're a comedian. No, I'm not a comedian. I just, I'm just just a funny looking man. That's all. There's a difference between being funny and being funny looking. See, wow. I'm, I'm funny looking. Uh, so it's like, you know, I have this, I have this big head. Can we all agree on that? I have a rather no. large head. A lot of people do. Yeah. But you're in good company. I look at it like this. That's because I have a large brain. There you yes. go. That's it. That's, That's it. Good. That's it. So you sing during the performances. Mm-hmm. A lot of singing. A lot of singing. <laughs> So, I mean, all that that's going on, you know, changing costumes, changing characters. How do you remember the words to these songs? Oh, it's easy. Yeah. I mean, is that we, the easiest part? That, that's easy after a while. I really, mean, we, we, have the, we have our bloopers every now and then. The audience yes. doesn't know. But we, <laughs> really? We have our bloopers. <laughs> oh but it's not hard at all. Like, the songs are what gets you going and your spirit going. So it's like it, you can't forget you know, the hits that bridge the culture. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And now it's just become muscle memory. We do it eight times a week. Right. We've done over 500 shows. So it's just like second nature to us now. So there's only one touring production? or Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So you guys are covering the country from the Ruta to the Tuta then, yeah. right? Ruta to the Tuta. Man, <laughs> man. How is, how is life on the road? Oh. Laundry. Mm. And you got to do your own laundry. Yeah. Yeah. You got to wash your own drawers? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or you go drop it that off. That is somewhere. like not my yeah. favorite. Wash your phone. Yeah. Now, now phone. without getting in, into <laughs> specifics, does it, does it pay okay? Oh, oh it's yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. It's okay, amazing. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of times they say, you know, a small produ- and this is by far not a small production, but that's sometimes they'll say it's a small production, and as we make more money, you'll make more. But you guys are happy with that. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So, so yeah. I was wanted to ask, like musicians and and actors and people who do do what you guys do, actors, theater, things like that. 
Do you have like direct deposit or do you get a check or do they give you cash minus the taxes? How does that work? Direct, direct deposit. deposit. Just like if you worked at Coca Cola, your taxes and come those out federal for taxes a one, okay. right on up. Right, right. Social Security, okay. it medical, is, yes. yeah. medical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. in the union, so they take out the union dues. As well. Ooh. Agency dues. Agency fees. Wow. Yeah. 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 We get okay. reimbursed for certain things. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's it just like everybody it's else. It's really yeah. legit. No yeah. complaints on that side. All right. No problem. Corporate gig. Mm-mm. Corporate, Mm-mm. yeah, it is still corporate. Mm-hmm. So why y'all making obscene gestures as y'all are saying this, all this? What are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not Dallas. We're not making obscene gestures. Motown gestures. the musical through uh, August sixteenth at the AT and T Performing Arts Center. Uh, get details and maybe that summer hookup to go to get in it for free at krnb.com. So when you hear the songs that each one of you guys perform, when you guys are driving around hearing it on the radio, do y'all like go? Oh, I sing that song and I'm such a no, no, not now. No, no, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. We are over it. Motown is everywhere. It is everywhere. It's yeah. everywhere. everywhere. So it's like you just want to go sit down, have brunch or whatever, and then you hear a Motown song, especially a song that's in the show, you're like, ah. <laughs> Lovingly. It's strategic Lovingly. marketing, I call it, because yeah. it, it is everywhere, especially near the theater, where we, wherever theater we're performing yes. at, it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's real. But that's, 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 that, I mean, the brand is ridiculous. Oh, it yeah. is. You know? It's the, timeless. Yeah, it is timeless, you know? And, and it's, it's Barry Gordy's legacy that he's left all of us. Yeah. 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 When you think about Absolutely. it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. and 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 when you, you know, I get I get sad sometimes because you know, the cycle of life, you know, people get older, they pass away, things like that. And a lot of people, you know, Rick James was on Motown, yeah. Marvin was on Motown, yeah. Tina Marie, Tina yeah. Marie was on Motown. You know, Switch. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson started out on Motown. The group Switch, I believe, was on Motown. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. Really? The Bards yeah. too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it you know? um, um, yeah. um, Eric Benet? Is this where Eric Benet was too? Or is it? Uh, no, that's Warner Brothers. Uh, that's Warner Brothers. Trivia question. Boys to Men was yeah. on Motown. Boys to Men. We got lovely party gifts for you, Taylor. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So do you do you guys know what city you're going to next? Yeah. Yes. Atlanta. 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 Yeah. Now, I just came from Houston. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's yes. where Tamar's from. That's why. See, I'm from Galveston. Oh. oh cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. My mother's still there. My sure. daughter uh, lives there with, with her boys nice. and everything. So yeah. 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 So wow. And you're from Florida. Florida. She won't say what city. What is St. Petersburg. Okay. Saint Petersburg. <laughs> okay. What about you? A New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. He's from Jersey. See, but a lot of people. No one ever says, "Oh, what city?" Oh. Yeah. See. Jersey's Jersey, though, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what city? Just what? <laughs> Jersey's Jersey, but it's not. I mean, North Jersey and South Jersey. So what part country? Jersey? North Jersey. North Jersey. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, they. Is that like they, a North they, Korea, South Korea thing? Okay. <laughs> what? Like Sparta, a North Korea, South Korea thing? No. Like you get to say. <laughs> so, what, what do you guys hope to do in the future, though? Like more theater, or would you like to get into TV and film? Definitely and want to get TV, into yeah, TV, film. TV, film, absolutely. Yeah. More but theater. I love the theater thing, and the, that, that's my life. Uh, I didn't realize um, I could actually have a career on Broadway because I didn't grow up seeing Broadway shows, even though I live 30 minutes from New York City. That's just not what my family did. But I feel like that's my base. Those are my roots, being that real theater actor, and I'll always come back to it. I need to get into somebody's movies and some Marvel comic some action royalties. movies. Yeah, <laughs> ah, we got to write the music to get the royalties though. Oh, so, I know. Yeah, you gotta, gotta, I gotta, love yeah. Yeah. music. Scene. Do any of y'all write music? I do. Tamar, you do. Mm-hmm. You, do? Mm-hmm. you seem like you're the kind of person who enjoys like. Oh, I do. I'm do? I'm recording all the time in my hotel room. Okay, always. All right. So uh, on your going. downtime, what do you like to do, Martina? Um, sightsee, eat. Mm. Definitely try to find the the best the chicken spot. Mm. Already hungry. Um, <laughs> Already hungry. And do community service if I can mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. different cities. And Tamar, what do you like to do on your downtime? Uh, I love to go Bikram yoga. Like I love to find the local Bikram yogas, and then that's really it. I'm always recording, literally, like always recording. It's about, so hot here, so it's just kind of. Oh, it is hot. It is hot in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like to do, man? Um, I like to go to Six Flags mm-hmm. a lot. Um, so I try to. Go to <laughs> Close to Six Flags to wherever we are. We got one here. I went yesterday. Oh, there you go. Yep. And um, no, I love to eat as well and just uh, explore the city. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. And chill with my dog, Gordy, who travels with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gordy. you're allowed to have a pet? Uh-huh. Do you have to pay extra or anything? you have to pay any? Depends. depends. Just depends. What yeah. kind of dog do you have? I have a terrier poodle mix. Oh. Ah. Yeah, he's, he's like so adorable. Pounds. Okay. You don't want to travel with a big old dog. No. You know? But my dog is perfect size. Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah. I've, my, my daughters, and they used to, when they were small, they used to say, "Can I have a? Can we have a pet?" I'm like, "No, you got a sister. Aww, you got a sister. You, 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 you know, you get to talk to her, and she talks back, and everything. Aww. You ain't got to walk her and curb her, and you got to pick up her poop or nothing. It's like Aww. that's. But see, a dog's not gonna tell you a secret. You break that vase. Your sister knows you broke that vase. You're gonna be in trouble. 
the downside to everything, Martina. You gotta, <laughs> you're, you're breaking my argument over here, man. <laughs> Did they ever get a dog? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh-oh. No. But see, I, I never had a pet. Right. Uh, I never, I never had a pet. I had two sisters. Okay. So that's kind of like how, how that worked doing? itself out, though. They'll, so. they'll, they'll change your life. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Yeah. It's just that unconditional love. It's something about that bond that you just can't get with anything else. And I mean, I'm not married yet, so I don't know. I haven't found my soulmate yet. But f- the bond that you make with your dog is something like no- nothing else. Well, and you I, had girls and you didn't give them a dog? That's they don't have you wrapped around their finger? No, yeah, they do. But I mean, no, no dog, man. Because, I mean, you know, when, you, when you're a kid and you get a dog, you know, it's cool for two weeks and then... Who's you're, left to clean up everything? everything. Right. Yeah. Right. I ain't going through all that, man. Especially if you didn't grow up with yeah. yeah. Cleaning up after a dog? I hate cleaning up after myself. I'm, you know? I'm just saying. So, so out of all the songs you perform, what's your favorite one to do, Martina? Two Lovers and Bye Bye Baby. Okay. What about you, Tamar? Heard it through the grapevine. Oh, yes. And yes, Marvin? Mine, too. No. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> My version. Right. Gladys's version. What about you? Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Great yeah. song. Now, to me, d- the live version of Distant Lover by Marvin Gaye, to me, is the greatest live love song ever recorded in a concert. I mean, he put his foot in it. You, you, you haven't, you've never heard it. We should play that right now. I got people I work yeah. for, man. It don't I mean, work that come way. Come on, now. You can't start talking about that and then not that, have it playing in but, the background. But, but it, it, it's one of the greatest ever. Hmm. Yes. Oh no, I was just waving. Oh, okay. Was that some kind of thing she has, man? Is that, is that, is that, is that a thing? I don't know what. She just waved. I was like, you know, we've been talking for about 10 minutes now. Now she says hello. What is that? <laughs> she just noticed you. Okay, okay. I got you. Well, that, that happens a lot to me, too, man. So it's like, it's one of those things, man. So I, I always tell people I'm a, I'm a boil on the booty of life. No. <laughs> That's 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 my lot in life, man. So that's it's just that's just you know, it's just just one of those things, man. You need a dog. I need a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you a dog. Motown the musical is at the AT and T Performing Arts Center through August 16th. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Thank you for having us, right. Martina and Tamar and Jaron. 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 I'm sorry, right. man. Jaron. Jaron, right. man. Okay, I'll I'll name my my next oh, you son. Oh, Jaron. Dog, Jaron. Jaron. Dog, Jaron. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I thought you'd be offended by that, <laughs> no, man. But, uh, you don't be dog okay. Well, I was lying to you anyway because I ain't having no more children, man. Look at me. Dude. Oh. Who wants to have a baby with me? Come on, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you said it again. You're a boil on the booty of life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in, though. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. That's Motown the Musical at the AT&T Performing Arts Center through August 16th. Go to krnb.com for more information.